Hey guys, Song Light at 14 with a brand new video on my channel. And this is a little bit of Dying Light gameplay. Um, hope you guys want to see more of this because I really enjoyed this game. I'm um, basically, I've already finished the main part of the story, so there won't be any spoilers. But um, I was either going to plan to do like the little side quests and then do a little like take over some safe zones so I can go through the, uh, the city without having to go too far out to go back to where I was at um, this is just me going to take over one safe zone I did it pretty epically um, the way I did it ended up pretty scary like I almost crapped my pants a couple times during this gameplay commentary oh, well, I, people I was talking with while I was doing this they, they, they were uh, hearing me scream and stuff like the, the, it was pretty bad this game will turn little girls into men and men into little girls pretty much. It just determines which one you want to be. I became a man definitely after this game. To be warning you this game is a little bloody and gruesome. But I do love the parkour. Parkour Assassin's Creed was one of my main go to games for a while and now I played that Dead Island so it was basically Dead Island with um, Assassin's Creed and a little bit of Far Cry this is where I was marking the map there's a safe zone behind me I was looking that's where I would usually go there and then up the hill there's another spot not really a hill, it's more flat. There's like three main safe zones and there's like four more red ones that I can take over and make my own. So basically here's the one I saw and I also saw a crate drop so I can get supplies and I saw a bunch of zombies down there so I shot this barrel. The bad thing part about this is uh, the more noise you make, the more zombies come. So once I got over here, a lot of zombies came in after me. This is where it got really interesting because of uh, that, that big explosion caused a main chain reaction from now to the end of this video with me just running and hauling. Like this shotgun saved my life multiple times. That was what scared the crap out of me at the beginning. From here, I knew I looked at the main map. I knew there was no one coming, so I basically, yep. Like I said, very bloody because once I shot that, that that zombie in the head, it blurred all over my screen. This game's really realistic, <laughs> and I say that, and then. I show you this little bit of a tidbit of a glitch. Rotating leg. Alright, this is me taking down this big zombie. I saw it when I walked through, but I know I could take it out because I put that big explosion in. So I knew I had flammable liquid and I knew I had flammable throwing stars the star. So um Based through those liquid down, hoping those would catch the they got on fire once so through this throwing star, but it didn't. It just caught him on fire from the throwing star itself. That's basically what ended up killing him. He was so low health that I just took like four of those throwing stars. Those would be easily crafted with um alcohol and uh, cloth and then a blade this is the, the, the thing he used to slam down on the ground you, if you get in the way of that he can do some major damage I shouldn't have shot there because ammo is pretty like scarce in this game you have to go buy it from a vendor and there's like one or two vendors and they do cost a lot of money if you think about it because you only get like six dollars to like forty dollars off a zombie and then you get like two hundred dollars off these big guys which I just got at four hundred dollars and 
those are pretty hard to kill. They already unlocked uh, an execution. So once they get them on the ground, I can basically just press the button and chop, knock their head in. So, um, lock picking in the game was um, really good, like, because it has a little element where you have to watch your back before you go and try this. Or if you're playing multiplayer, you have someone to back you up during the middle of it. So um, I ended up getting supplies, and I can get uh, some jewelry bag and uh, supplies for my uh, the guy who like runs the main safe house. We'll, we'll get that off of you and get you some money for supplies like those. And sometimes if you don't get there soon enough, some guards will get there, and you have to kill them and steal it before they do. This is me climbing up to this safe zone trying to find out where I need to get in here. Um, this is where it starts getting pretty uh, pretty sketchy and pretty scary because I thought I was going to die at this point because I um, was not expecting something that was uh, in this room once I got in here. Once I get up to the top I found a little doorway I jumped straight in. I dropped down into what I thought was going to be safe, but no, it was not. It definitely was not. Yeah, you have to go shoot at the head. And this one was not dead either. Now, the thing is with shooting those guns is it attracted more zombies. And uh, as soon as I put these in, this is when the magic happens. Had no clue. And that caused this to happen. Rolling Stars saved my rear end. They still kept coming. I couldn't, I couldn't secure it until everything was dead. I finally secured it. Now I have a place to sleep and storage my supplies and change my clothes. There you have it. That was me almost crapping my pants in the past eight minutes of this gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed it and this is something like 14. I'm out. Peace. One more thing, like, comment, subscribe. Just just another reminder. Hope you guys really enjoy this because um if you're into this scary parkour kind of gameplay and you like shooting zombies like I do, or just enjoy watching The Walking Dead. This is really good. Something like 40 I'm out, peace. <laughs>